Of course, here with our resident chef, Alison Davis from Wild Time Cooking. How are you, my friend? I'm always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very quickly, we're going to be making a wedged salad. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with a wedged salad? A salad's a salad. No? no, no. Okay. A wedge salad is very classic. And I don't know if it's an American thing or where it originated, but it's one of my favorites and it's definitely one of my dad's well, favorites. Well, all I can see is you've got blue cheese and bacon so and you're good. artichokes. We're good to go. Well, I'm bumping up my wedge salad a little bit. Artichokes are not typically common to wedge salad. Right. Wedge salad's almost just like a BLT salad with iceberg lettuce first and foremost. Because oh. that's where it gets its name, wedge, so right? So it's like a cob salad. No, no. It's a wedge. <laughs> it's a wedge. The whole thing like you that. You serve it like this on the plate. Ridiculous. No, I'm serious. Am I not? Yes, I'm serious. I'm talking to the crew behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. They know what I'm talking about. No, when you get a wedge salad at the restaurant, it typically is served like this. Another way you Allison, can do I it. Allison, I don't believe you. All right. Well, we're going to go to the restaurant after we film this so that we can show you how a wedge salad is served. So another way I do it is sometimes I'll cut the wedge in half like that yeah. and I'll stock it. But yes, it's cut, it's served like that. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> you really have not seen this. I have not. Oh, I'm, I'm, I have I'm not. so happy. You're thinking I'm crazy that I'm serving it like that, but that's why it's called the wedge. Okay. I'm still, <laughs> See, I sort of think. <laughs> it's not April Fool's yet, I swear. Got you. All right, All right. so the wedge is served on the plate and then we're gonna top it with everything else. Okay. All right, and then so when you go to eat it, you're just going to cut into it, and then you have all the components. Right. So we're going to make the dressing. Yes. Um, also, w typically with the wedge, of course, you have I'm bacon. Put them on there. Um, I'm going to cut the um, cherry tomatoes just in mm -hmm. half. So then you just kind of lay them around. So I'm going to start passing ingredients to you, yep. and basically you're just topping them. Um, on top of the wedge okay, and just lovely. making them look nice and pretty. Oh, well, I'm Blue good at cheese decorating. crumbles, blue cheese crumbles, and of course bacon. I like avocado on mine. Did you want me to put the blue cheese on yes. there? Yes. <gasps> I love blue cheese. I do too. And a lot of times you, you can either do it two ways. You can do the blue cheese crumbles. I think there's too much on, there's too much for Oh, there. would you stop? Well, how do I put it all on there? You just load it up. Oh my gosh. That's the beauty of a wedge. <gasps> ah. So we're going to add bacon. Um, I, I like avocado, and you can also do um, hard boiled eggs a lot of times. There's some more bacon for you. I swear, this is a Caesar salad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. So I've got some fresh avocado. When I cut it, I cut around the pit, and then I just like to score it right inside. I think you've already put bacon on there. Yeah, I did put some, oh. but the, a bacon is never, never a bad thing. Okay, uh, I think. So I we're going to scoop out a little bit of avocado. He is working so hard, isn't he? Well, I'm just concerned it's not going to look full enough for you. Oh, it's because looking you got full. Because you got half a garden <laughs> on here. All right. So again, one of my additions is um, I like the little bit of fresh oh, artichoke on there. Oh, I need more avocado because I put all on one. Okay. Well, I'll cut that in just a okay. minute. All right. What I'm going to do is make the dressing. Artichokes. Now, you one thing you can do, you can have a blue cheese dressing. A lot of times they have like crumbled blue cheese, but I like to do kind of a spicy ranch on mine. So what I'm going to do is I've taken a chipotle mayonnaise. I'm going to need that spoon back, love. Oh. You're fine. I've got a chipotle mayonnaise, which just has yep. a little bit of sriracha, some chipotle chili pepper, and a little bit of mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some, a uh, little bit of red wine vinegar. I love red That's going to help vinegar. thin it out a bit. Yep. I've got a little bit of buttermilk. Buttermilk? What's yes. that again? Buttermilk. Yeah. And What's the difference between buttermilk and normal milk? Buttermilk is a little bit sour. It's more cultured, oh. like before you, and then I'm going to add some garlic to okay. this. I love a bit of capers. Buttermilk, people. Butter oh, milk. you can't go wrong with buttermilk. And then I've got a bit of chives and salt and pepper. Okay. We can also add um, a little bit of cayenne, of course, if you like a little more heat. Uh, but really just that simple. And then just season mm. it with some salt and pepper. I'm eating the bacon. Well. I'm sorry. It's just too good. It's your self-control again. Except again. Self-control, I can't have it. So if it's a little thin, you can add a little bit more mayonnaise, you can add sour cream, or you can take some of those blue cheese crumbles and just... Enough with the blue cheese. I'm a lover of blue cheese. 
All right, so then we've got that, and okay, let's see. Let's pull that back over here okay, and take a I look. Okay, I think you should take this one. He's dying Be over no, here. No, because I put too, I think I put too much on the other. So just, we have the bacon, the avocados, yeah. the tomatoes. We added a little artichoke. I've got the artichoke on there. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of our dressing. With blue cheese in it. Oh, my gosh. You tell me that comes to you at a restaurant, and you're just not going to die and go to heaven. Well, I'm sure. Yes, totally. And one other thing. Hold that for okay. me. I like a little bit more texture and crunch. I mean, you're going to you get it from the bacon. Can you add anything more to the plate? I have some chopped, uh, just a little bit of pistachio pieces. I think it just makes a nice little garnish and a topping. So, oh boom. My the Lord. kitchen sink. The kitchen sink, but I do have to say. I'm telling you, I am in love with a wedge salad. Again, it's my dad's favorite, so I'll pay a little homage to him. Oh, and onions. I totally <laughs> forgot. We pickled some Enough. red... Enough. Do not put anything else we on this salad. We pickled some red onions, or you could just do a little bit of diced red onions, okay. but I like the pickles. We're going to give you all the recipes over at wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky for this vegetable patch of a salad, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, thank you, Alison. You will get so many people telling you they're going to take you to lunch for a wedge salad. I am going to ask everyone to write into us and tell us what you think of the vegetable patch salad, I'm now calling <laughs> it. Thank you. Back after this short break.